what do I have in my hands here? It's a piece of treasure. All right, boys and girls, before we unbox this treasure album, we're gonna have to learn a little bit about them. So let's check out a video together today. This album will also be up for grabs in my weekly giveaway. If you don't know, every Sunday I pick a winner to give away K-pop album two. All you have to do to qualify, subscribe, comment, and like some videos. Make sure you comment because that's how I pick the winners. The first step's the hardest and they took it. This album's called The First Step Chapter One. Congrats to them, congrats to YG. This is their first uh, boy band, I think after, is it Big Bang? Wow, that's a long time ago, right? Aside from Big Bang, I don't know what other male groups that were really prominent in YG, so hopefully Treasure really stands out for them. Before we do any unboxing video, I wanna learn more about the members and the group. I know there's a lot of members, so I need a video to help me out. I expect great things out of this boy group because they're out of the same YG label that created the megastars Blackpink. There's a lot of long, long videos, helpful guides, unhelpful guides about Treasure, but I think I'm gonna watch Internet Nathan's How Treasure Was Formed. All the credit goes to him. I'm just gonna simply react to it. I'll put a link of the original video down below. Let's get into it. How's it going, everyone? Today, we're gonna see how the rookie boy group Treasure was formed. There's like 12 and guys, right? From trainee life all the way to debut. I just wanna be a boy. I just want to be a boy. Okay. Treasure. Now, Treasure is a 12, 12 yep. member boy group from YT Entertainment that came out during the pandemic year on August 7, 2020. Debut song Treasure Boy. We have to watch that. Created from one of YG's survival shows called Random Name Treasure, Treasure Box, Makers that had cool. premiere episode in 2018. But many of them were seen before in another YG show called Mix 9. Which didn't end well with the winning groups. I've heard of Mix 9, never watched canceled, it. But in YG's Treasure Box, 29 trainees joined in hopes of debuting, including the addition of seven other trainees from YG Entertainment's Japan branch. Ooh. By the end, only 13 were selected to debut. Japan? Originally called Korea? Treasure 13, since they had 13 members, but Yubin left before debut apparently due to a difference in music styles. Mm, YG was actually going to create two units from this show. One called Magnum and the other called Treasure. When they would promote all together, kind of like AMPM from White Team, um, but they would JYP. Drop those plans and go with one big group called Treasure, which was a brilliant idea because they're already the highest-selling rookie boy group of the year days before actually debuting. Congrats! Now that the basic info is out the way, let's get to learn more about the members. Choi Hyun Suk was born in 1999 in Daegu, South Korea. Baby. Joining YG Entertainment was always a dream. Throwing up gang signs when he was young. Since he was motivated to start rapping when introduced to Big Bang for the first time. He was simply fascinated by the group. While training in V Spec Academy, Hyun Suk got a chance to audition for his favorite label. YG got swag in 2015. Got swag. Already practicing for a couple years, his experience made him pass and join the company, fulfilling his dream Ooh. of becoming that YG trainee. Now, him in the middle, great dancer. Journey to debut, learning to write, compose songs, and being a great dancer on top of it, he became a favorite with Yang Han Suk among the trainees. Now, before YG's Treasure Box, Yang Suk promoted in another survival show. Mix Mix nine, nine, I need to watch that show. Really proved himself, finishing fifth and making the winning boys team that was set to debut. But as we know, it was canceled, and those trainees and Yang Suk were back where they started. But he would get another chance in Treasure Box where he booked his ticket to debut as Treasure the rapper, Box. dancer, and leader of Treasure. Ji Hyun was born leader. in 2000 in Busan, okay. South Korea, getting some training at the Nataraha Academy, which is a dance academy. Ji Hyun said he didn't really learn how to sing until joining YG, wow. which he did in 2016 through auditions. He's another member whose dream was to debut in YG Entertainment when he was younger. Now training in the company, Ji Hyun was actually let go so by YG knows at about one time. Not dancing. seeing the growth they wanted, Ji Hyun left YG Entertainment's trainee system. But after a reevaluation looking for trainees for the Treasure Box show, the producers brought Ji Hyun back into the company. The fear of being dropped again pushed Ji Hyun to do even better That's when cool. the new Comeback show story. started. He took the opportunity, like yet he didn't make the main group. But instead, that second group I mentioned called Magnum. After putting everyone into one group, Ji Hyun became the dancer, vocalist, and second leader. Of treasure. Second Yoshi leader, was born okay. In 2000 in Kobe, Japan. Growing up wasn't easy for Yoshi because when he was only in the seventh grade, his father sadly passed away. Looks like a dancer already. The house. Yoshi wanted to do well for not only him but his family. So when YG Entertainment held auditions in Japan in 2016, 
Yoshi attended and was selected to be a part of YG's Japanese branch of trainees. Yoshi was then introduced to the Korean trainees when YG brought over the trainees from Japan to compete in YG's treasure box. With the drive of needing to debut not only for him, but his I family like YG home, Yoshi I know they went through a lot of bad publicity, but for the Magnum group, I like their artists. debuting as the rapper and dancer of Treasure. Jungkyo was born in 2000 in Jung South Kyo. Korea. Being in the spotlight was nothing new for Jungkyo since he's been in dozens Man, of Man, Internet Nathan does his research. Jobs. He's so good. Then when he got older, he started attending the Def Jam school. Through this dance yeah, school, Jungkyo got to audition for YG Entertainment when they were scouting four amazing dancers I've spotted talent. so far. Passing, he joined YG. During his time as a trainee, Jungkyo also got to compete in Mix 9. But he didn't do so well, ending up in the 35th place by the end of the show. Back as a YG trainee, Jungyo struggled with confidence. At his monthly evaluation, Zhang Han Suk continuously told him to look up, as Jungyo kept looking at the floor while singing. He worked on this and found himself as one of the finalists of YG's Treasure Box, debuting as one of the vocalists and visual of Treasure. How many episodes of Treasure Box? I should check that out. In Japan. Mashiho. There isn't too much about how Mashiho got into music or even K-pop for that matter. But he did join YG Entertainment's Japanese branch as a trainee in 2013, making him one of the first Japanese trainees YG Entertainment Man, ever these guys had. Dance. Training in Japan for some time, he wasn't first seen until Act On Musician's short film, playing a barista. And an actor. Listen, I don't even drink coffee, but I'd get a venti whatever for <laughs> Mashiho. He was later brought to Korea to join the rest of the Mashiho. trainees competing in YG's treasure box, ultimately making his way into the second lineup of Magnum, but then joining up with everyone else, two Japanese members dancer, so far. vocalist, and visual of treasure. Jaehyuk was visual. born in 2001 okay. in Yongin, South Korea. Before YG, Jaehyuk had a lot of other options. To explain, he was approached by other big K-pop companies like Weihua, Willem, Pledes, Cube, JYP, oh, and Cube. SM Entertainment. Oh. Cube and how Jaehyuk SM. joined YG Entertainment was also very simple. After school, he was street casted by a YG Entertainment employee. Yo, that's awesome. You know, you just walk in and your life changes. Of training under his belt, he was only a YG trainee for seven months, Damn. making him the member with the shortest trainee time. But as mentioned by Yang Han Suk, he was also the fastest improved among Seven other months. trainees. That made Jaehyuk a rising talent in YG's treasure box. He was, however, eliminated in the ninth episode, but was brought back to the finale to debut with treasure as <laughs> yeah, a lot of people brought back. And vocalist. That's Asahi elimination. Asahi, in it's Japan. almost a name At of a beer. Age, Asahi spent a lot of time focused on music, specifically music composition. Yo, he I like him already. Teach this guy. Himself how to compose music when he was just in middle school. While he started pretty young, he didn't join YG Entertainment's Japanese trainees until later than anyone else in Treasure. He still has a total trainee time of three years until joining the show YG's Treasure Box. Three years is still a long time. The you get your doctor's degree. And then debuting as one of the vocalists of his group, Treasure. Han Yi Dam was born in 2002 in Seoul, South Korea. You probably already heard of him since he is one of YG Entertainment's famous trainees. Going back, Pang Yi Dam was born to parents who were both singers, so for him, singing kinda runs in the family. Korea got to know Pang Yi Dam when he was a contestant on K-pop Star Season 2. In the show, Pang Yi Dam would go all the way to the finale, eventually being the runner-up to future label mates Act On Musician, who won the show. Being on K-pop star got people interested. That's like the same backdrop as uh, the Blackpink training room. <laughs> Famous Entertainment as a trainee and trained there for six years. That is the longest amount of time of anyone in Treasure. In that time though, Pagi Dam would build his skills in songwriting, making his own music, and having a natural voice for singing helped a lot. Aside from training to debut, he also kept really good grades in school. He would have tests in the morning and on the same day you could find him in the studio practicing. He was soon labeled a genius by those in YG Entertainment for his quick learning and talent. But that long training time no made genius, just hard working. Come on. Debut. He would get to show what he was capable of on YG's Treasure Box in 2018. And he finally got to feel what it was like to debut when he made the group and debuted as the main vocalist of Treasure. Do Young was born in 2003 in Seoul, Korea. And his journey began in the third grade, where Do Young said he was chubby. 
so he started to dance to lose weight. It was fun at first, but it slowly became something more serious. Soon enough, dancing began to be one of his biggest strengths. He brought that strength to YG Entertainment when he joined the company when he was 11 years old in 2015. Dang. Chosen as one of the trainees to compete in YG's treasure box, Young didn't make the original lineup of treasure making the second group Magnum, but when everyone else was reorganized as one group, Toyong finally debuted as the dancer and vocalist. Yo, they got like nine dancers. Haruto was born in 2004 in Fukuoka, Japan. For Haruto, he really didn't have a choice but love K-pop, and specifically YG Entertainment artists. Both his parents, and especially his mom, are huge Big Bang fans from owning quite a bit of merch to going to concerts <laughs> nice. in Japan. One of the first times seeing Big Bang, Haruto was inspired to be just like them. So when YG Entertainment held auditions in Yo, the parents must be so happy. he had to go. The producers were surprised at his dancing skill at his age at the auditions. So they accepted him wow. and he was a YG Entertainment trainee. To be honest, his parents were more happy he made it into YG <laughs> than he was. Leaving home at 15, Haruto was the youngest of the Japanese trainees. But he was one of the more unique trainees as said by Yang Han Suk with his rap tone. And in YG's treasure box, Haruto okay. did fantastic the being the first member to be announced for the winning group. Debuting as the rapper and visual of treasure. Park jung was born in 2004 in Iksan, South Korea. Starting out at a dance academy Dang. in his hometown, he never missed the day of practice. I was wrong. It's like 12 but dancers. That's crazy. Vocal lessons, I can see why this group's popular. Their dancing must be out of this world. He did. And he passed. Park jung trained for almost three years before appearing on YG's Treasure Box. He was selected as the fifth member of the winning group and debuted as one of the vocalists of Treasure. And last but not least, So Jung Hwan was born in 2005 in Iksan, South Korea. Like Jung Kyo, So Jung Hwan I mean, was 16, also 16. a child model, booking numerous roles in commercials. Later, Jung Hwan would really get into Taekwondo and acrobatics, and even join the martial arts dance team K Tigers. And since Jung Hwan and Jung Ho came from the same town, they were friends who went to the same schools and dance academies. They would both follow each other into YG Entertainment. In YG's treasure box, he was one of the youngest contestants, but would become popular due to his good looks. Selected third in the group, So Jang Hwan debuted as one of the vocalists, and of course, Magne of Treasure. Now that <laughs> well fans, we are ready to open this, but not today. I can't promise that I'm gonna remember all the members' names. I mean, there's 12 of them, and I just watched a 12 minute video on it. I've heard one of their songs. There are four songs here, Boy, which is their debut song. We're gonna have to watch the MV. Come to me, boy instrumental, and then come to me instrumental. It's only two songs, so this is more like a single than it is an album. When I say album, I think like a full album, you know, like 15 songs, 12 songs, like here in America. This is a single, but it's got pretty hefty, heavy duty packaging. So you just have to stay tuned to see this unboxing. Friends, don't remember that if you subscribe and comment, you have a chance to win a album like many other lucky winners. Tell your friends, tell your family. Once we reach 5,000 subscribers, light sticks, people, light sticks. That's it for today. Make sure to tune in when I do this unboxing video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.